Sets are a common form of data. Suppose we have a set of characters that go to Springfield Elementary School and another set of characters that work at the nuclear power plant. You might ask yourself, are there more evil people in the power plant or in school? Such datasets are often visualized with Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are, however, not good at visualizing quantitative data and are really bad at visualizing many sets. What if I also want to learn about whether the characters have blue hair or like duff beer? To do this kind of analysis, we have developed Upset. Upset uses a matrix to identify the segments of a Venn diagram. Each set is in a column. Each intersection is in a row. You can see the corresponding segments by hovering over the row. These are all the characters that are in school but not evil and don't work in the power plant. These are the characters that are evil but not in school and don't work at the power plant. And here are all the evil people that work at the power plant. The bars on the side show how big this intersection is. Clicking on one of the bars shows the contained elements in a table. We see Mr. Burns and Smithers as the evil characters at the power plant. We can add more sets by clicking on their label. Upset is designed to answer questions in a task-driven way. Sorting by cardinality helps you find the largest intersection. Sorting by deviation reveals the intersections that are larger or smaller than expected. Sorting by degree shows the intersections with low degree first. As you can see, the matrix quickly fills up. To deal with this, we can hide the empty intersections. For many tasks, it is helpful to aggregate intersections. You might want to know which sets intersect frequently with the school set. To do this, we aggregate by sets. This aggregation shows us that there are six characters in the school set. The biggest intersection in the school aggregate is school and male. However, there are other intersections that also contain school and male. To see the overall relationship between school and male, we can add an aggregation by overlaps. Here we see that there are three intersections in the male school aggregate, with a total of five characters. To get an overview of all interactions, we can hide the individual intersections. We can also explicitly query for an intersection. Let's select the males that work in the power plant. We see the two intersections and a total of five characters match our query. Upset also visualizes elements and attributes. To demonstrate this, we have loaded a dataset about movies that contains movie genres, release dates, ratings and popularity. The view here is aggregated by sets. Here we can see box plots of the attributes, release date, average ratings and times watched. In the element view, we see a scatter plot of release date versus ratings for the whole dataset. It seems like ratings in the past were higher, but this is possibly a bias of the data collection. We can see that the number of movies in the sets is quite different. To get a better understanding of the size of the smaller bars, we can adjust the scale. Bars that break the scale wrap around themselves to keep them comparable as long as possible. Let's take a look at the documentaries. The box plots reveal that documentaries are rated higher on average than other genres. Documentaries also don't seem to mix much with other genres. Selecting their element reveals that most documentaries are recent productions. The war genre, which is also highly rated, contains a lot more classics. Looking at the intersections, we see that war movies are more often of multiple genres than documentaries. We hope you enjoyed our tour of upsets. Thank you for watching our video.